Okay, praise God. Today is the 26th, I believe. March 26, 2018. Now, everything with North Korea cooled down. Right around the time everything with North Korea cooled down, all of a sudden Russia and Syria heated up. Is it a conspiracy? Are they planning this? Is Russia and North Korea, are they... Are they working together? Of course they are, along with Iran and China and Turkey. So everything cooled down with North Korea. About that same time it cooled down with North Korea, all of a sudden everything heated up with Syria, Russia, and Damascus, and planes being shot down over there. Then things cooled down over there in Russia, or, or with Russia over Syria, and all of a sudden on the 20th, Six days ago, 3.20, like I've been saying, everything, the rhetoric especially, started to heat up with China. Okay, so I looked at um, September 23rd, 2014 as possibly being the day that the tribulation period began. And somebody might say, well, where? how'd you come up with that date? Well, September 23rd, 2015 was the Blood Moon Tetrad. And September 23rd, 2017 was the uh, woman clothed with the sun. And these things are written in the stars. So there's something important about September 23rd. Okay. So, and then when I look back, I look at um, how Obama started to take over more. And how uh, Obama's JV team, ISIS, started to rise up in Syria around September and then Black Lives Matter 2014 is when a lot of that stuff, the Ferguson stuff was going on, the Ferguson riots began, uh, Black Lives Matter was birthed out of that, you know. So I place, as a theory, something to think about, September 23rd, 2014 being the last day, and September 24th, 2014 being the first day of the tribulation period. That means that if we look at the book of Daniel where it says 1,290 days, 1,290 days from September 23rd, 2014 ends up being April 5th, 2018. Okay? Now, I've been setting dates, and every time I've set a date, there's been significant changes. Things have happened. So now I'm confident. Yesterday I was in the shower. And the Lord kind of dropped this message that I'm doing right now. And I tried to make this last night. But it was the middle of the night. And I was like, I don't know. It didn't turn out. So here's the deal. There's also 1,335 days. Now here's another theory. I know. Who wants theories? Just, Just hear me out. Let's see what happens. But... April 5th represents 1,290 days from September 23rd, 2014. The book of Daniel says 1,290 days, and look at how everything's heating up. Are we going to even make it through April, April without World War III happening? Now, the Bible says that it's going to happen. Jesus is the one who pulls the seal, the Lamb of God, the sixth seal. So. I've been on edge. My whole life revolves around this right now. It's like, I'm done. I can't, I can't do anything until this thing finally happens. Like, my life is, my life in this world is pretty much over. The tensions with Russia, China, North Korea, Iran have been ratcheting up for the last two and a half years. And I have known that God has said in His Word, once the gospel goes out, then Babylon the Great Falls. I'm waiting for that to happen. Okay. Then the mark of the beast. Then the rapture. So when the mark of the beast comes out, it's your job to stand firm in your faith until the rapture. So look for something to happen big time on April 5th. If you look at March 6th, which was 1,260 days from September 23rd, 2014. That was a day when things heated up too. Look at the news on that day. 
Then we have 1,335 days from the book of Daniel, and that ends up being May 20th, 2018. So 1,335 days from September 23rd, 2014 ends up being May 20th. Now, all these dates, keep in mind, usually represent the end of what God is saying for that time, and the very next day, things begin to heat up, and it usually takes about a week when you to, to look back and look at the news and the things that's changed in the world on that day. For example, 320, on that day it was like you got a few news stories. But by the 25th, you could look back and look at 320 and say, oh, whoa, look at all the changes that happened. All of a sudden the UK is sending a ship, a, 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 a war ship to the South China Sea. All of a sudden China is literally releasing war rhetoric. All of a sudden... Uh, uh, Donald Trump start. We hear this word building a war cabinet. <laughs> I'm just saying. All the whole people, all these people who are leaving the White House and new people coming into new jobs. You know why? Because they went out. Rex Tillerson did his job. He did everything he could. He they played good cop, bad cop. With Tillerson being the good guy and and uh, Trump being the bad cop, and they tried to you know play the whole negotiation thing then Rex Tillerson's job came to an end when it came to the point that hey I can't do anything more besides I see this war coming I want to go spend time with my family Rex Tillerson says see you later I'm going to be with my wife and visiting my kids and my grandkids I think that's why Rex Tillerson and all these people who are leaving the White House they have some sort of knowledge that this thing's going to go down soon enough that I'm going to go visit my family and, you know, get ready. That's what I think is happening. That's what I would be doing myself personally if I was at a high level government official and I, I knew that World War III was coming. I wouldn't be like, oh, let me work full time 70 hours a week trying to, you know, negotiate this thing. I'd be like, I'm going home to be with my family. I did my best. See you. Bye. <laughs> Go spend some time in prayer seeking God. Anyway, so you can look for May 20th, 20th. Nothing's going to happen, but if you but on the 27th of May, if you look back and look at what happened, you know what I'm saying? So here's what I'm saying. God put these dates here for a reason. He put these numbers in God's word for a reason. In the book of Revelation, we have we see the number 1260 days, and in the book of Daniel, we see the number 1,290 days and 1,335 days. As the signs in the sky and prophecies, we see Obama is probably the Antichrist and is going to come back. We see um, the enormous red dragon rising up, getting ready to launch those stars from its tail. That's the second sign that's found in the book of Revelation. The, the woman clothed with the sun, Revelation 12 a sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and then Revelation 12, verse 4, and then another sign appears, an enormous red dragon, and launches nukes from its tail. So we're waiting, out of all the signs in the skies that we've seen, we're waiting for two more. One is for the stars to be falling from the sky, and two is for the sky to be rolled up like a scroll. Okay, those are the signs in the skies, the signs in the sky that we have not yet seen. So, get ready. These dates are in God's Word for a reason. The Blood Moon Tetrad, September 23rd, 2015. God gave us a date and a sign in the sky. Then we had, you know, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. And then September 23rd, 2017, another sign in the sky, the woman clothed with the sun. Not only written in God's Word, but also written in the sky. Also. A specific date, September 23rd. You know, it's like, what is it that God has about September 23rd? Why does he like that day? And then why did he give us so specific numbers of actual days are numbered? You know, 42 months, 1,292 day, 90 days. 42 months, 1,260 days. 
1,335 days. So it's time to pray, seek God. If we make it through April with all the tensions, you're going to have to high-five Donald Trump because really this thing all could have happened September or November. World War III could have happened right after the elections if Hillary Clinton had been elected. Remember, both Russia and China had already done nuclear drills with all with their civilian population. Okay, so the civilian population in Russia is more ready than the American population. Same with China, same with North Korea. And I would even say that, you know, uh, Hawaii has had their nuclear alert. Ch Japan has had their nuclear alert. What about the mainland of the United States? Well, that's what this is all about. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Get ready. And I thought if it was God's will, he'd have already had me flee the country by now. I'd be living in Guatemala. Or something when this thing happens. But he wants me right here when this happens. <laughs> God help us. Anyway. Seek God. Worship the Lord Jesus. Jesus is Lord. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Time is running out. The mark of the beast is going to come out. And many are going to fall away from the faith. They're going to turn away from God. Take the mark of the beast. Get angry at God. And then betray those who remain faithful. And then after the rapture, God pours out his wrath. Now, God has always been having wrath against people who are wicked. Okay, But when his judgment comes, he'll either judge in favor or against. And if you serve God and you're a wise virgin, he, he judges in your favor. But if you have not been serving God the way you should, if you've been disobeying God, if you call yourself a Christian you're not serving him the way you should, he's going to come and judge the opposite. He's not going to judge in your favor. He's going to judge against you. And that's why all these people who believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, they're all going to find out they're wrong when World War III happens and then a short time later the mark of the beast comes out. So get ready. Get your heart right with God and be ready that when the mark of the beast does come out, one, it's a post-apocalyptic world. It's a post-World War III where literally, oh, the other vision I, I was reminded of last night in my drink, in, when I was in the shower is I had a vision, okay? And in the vision, actually I had two visions. One vision, I was up in Portland, Oregon, and from some way I knew it was Portland, Oregon, and I had my yellow backpack, and I have a, a, I think it's a marmot backpack that's a pretty nice backpack. And I was be, being harassed by these Muslims, right? And then the police came over, and he was a Muslim too. And the Muslims were like these teenage punk kids that had like dreadlocks and gold teeth, and they're like harassing anybody who wasn't a Muslim. And then the police guy came over, and he started harassing me. When he really should have been, in a normal society, he should have been protecting me from these guys who were, who were like being, like they were like low-level criminals. And so in that dream, I felt like it's either a warning not to go north. And that was also in the dream, it was post-apocalyptic. And when I say post-apocalyptic, I mean World War III had already happened. They're not going to target Portland. Portland is your safe Antifa city. They don't want to kill their own people. Russia, China, North Korea, when they target things. One, they're going to, the Lord show me, they're going to experiment with experimental um, bombs on the U.S. population. They have a certain bomb that they're going to explode somewhere that's highly radioactive and it's going to create a radioactive no-go zone somewhere. That any for years, anybody who goes in there will probably get radiation poisoning and die. Kind of like Chernobyl, how Chernobyl, the whole area around Chernobyl has been vacated. And they're going to do that. They're going to depopulate. Part of the purpose of World War III is to depopulate the Earth. Okay? So... The Lord showed me that Russia and China are going to test certain nuclear devices on the U.S. population. So tell Donald Trump, dial up your nukes to full. You know, we have nukes that can be dialed from 30 kilotons to 375 kilotons. And I'm saying, Donald Trump, just dial them all the way up, all full on. Because they're going to they're going to come after us. The other thing that the other dream I had, um, and this is the one I think is going to come to pass, because I remember the the emotion of it. I was in, uh, I was in, I think it was Mexico, and I was traveling south. Anyway, I was somewhere in this either Central America, 
and the ocean was beautiful and it was tropical and it was a, just a beautiful sunny day, but the sky was darkened. There was no clouds in the sky, but you could feel a different... Okay, there is going to be a nuclear winter. Global warming has heated our Earth, so when this World War III thing happens, it's going to be a slow process of cooling, which is going to take a couple of years for it to really take effect, the global nuclear winter. I'm just telling you. And so in the dream, I was south. I was somewhere in South America or Central America. And there was a, it was a beautiful, beautiful beach. And the ocean was beautiful. But there was a sadness in my heart. Like I couldn't enjoy it. Like it was a vacation destination. But I wasn't there to vacation. There was no like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go play in the surf. Or I'm going to go surfing or scuba diving. There was none of that. It was kind of a sadness like the earth had been destroyed and the sun was dim even though there weren't any clouds you could feel like a layer of uh debris in the air i'm just saying it was a post apocalyptic fantasy vacation destination i had, that was the dream. so from those two dreams i surmised that god does not want me going north and if i do go north i'll probably end up you know, getting, anyway, so whatever, World War III is going to happen, I'm staying right here until God says do something different, and I'm waiting for God, I know it's going to happen, especially when you look at the rhetoric, but the Bible says the bridegroom is a long time in coming, so things are going slower than I thought, but praise God for that, keep praying to push this thing back, because those days are numbered, if there's exactly 1,290 days, then you want it to happen on the 1,290th day, not the 1,260th day, because that's that's 30 more days of, of suffering. So, anyway, seek God, pray about what I'm saying. Don't take what I'm saying as, like, absolute truth, because I've set, every time I've set a date, something significant has happened. Now, God hasn't given me any dates recently, but He showed me those numbers and the date he's been giving me was September 23rd, 2014. And that's what I feel like the Lord is telling me, that, that the actual tribulation period began September 24th, 2014. And the 23rd was the last day of the end of that age, so to speak. <laughs> but I could be wrong about that. We could, it, the whole thing could be offset by one year. What if the tribulation began September 20th? I'm telling you right now, I'm pretty sure that that the beginning date of the tribulation is either September 23rd, 2000, I'm sorry, September 24th, 2014, September 23rd being the last day of the previous era, or, so the tribulation either began September 24th, 2014, September 24th, 2015, uh, September 24th, 2016, or September 24th, 2017. But it's going to start on the twenty on September 24th, okay? Maybe it starts September 24th, 2018. But the point is, September 24th is a significant date, and God put all those numbers in His Word for a reason. Alright, so be in prayer, keep calling out to God, keep your heart right with God, and get ready.